Hello everyone, welcome back to the Soap Throne. My name is Tamika, and today I am back to make um, a peppermint bark inspired soap for the holidays. So this is kind of going to be a soap in three parts. So first I'm going to take this and um, mix it with the last solution and very thinly, I'm going to bring it to a thin trace and pour it into my mold and let it solidify. And then I'll come back and add the second layer and then I'll come back and add the third layer. So just to let you know what I'm working with, I have my base oils which are palm oil, um, coconut oil, um, I use canola oil today, shea butter and castor oil. And I'm using the, let me grab the fragrance oil, I'm using the dark rich chocolate fragrance oil by Brambleberry and um, I'll also be using a peppermint first distill essential oil also from Brambleberry so um, yeah I think that's oh, oh one more thing I also have the live solution here and today I've added Tussa silk so we're gonna give that a try all right, so for the first layer, layer, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I hope this goes well because I'm having an interesting day. If it doesn't go well, oh, uh, so that's just too bad. And I'm just gonna stop for the day. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so first let me grab my stick blender. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour the in the lye solution. And actually, I'm also gonna go ahead and pour in my um, my fragrance oil right now because, as I said, I want to bring it to a really thin tray. So I want to just have everything in here so that I can stop the second I see that it's well mixed. Okay, there. Okay, here we go. And that's it. I'm stopping right there. So as you can see, it's turned kind of this grayish brown color, but that will change as it um, sits longer and it will turn a rich dark brown. So this fragrance oil actually discolors to a dark chocolatey color anyway. But I, as you saw, I didn't mention, you notice that the oils were very dark and that is because I um, added cocoa powder and um, activated charcoal. And I do that because I'm not sure that the um, fragrance oil would discolor evenly so I just add that anyway just to make it a little more even. Plus, since you know it's chocolate, I kind of like the idea of having something chocolatey in it anyway. Okay, so let me get this scraped well. So those two, the activated charcoal and, um, let me, sorry, tap this down. So I was saying the activated charcoal and um, the cocoa powder actually happens to be my favorite combination at the moment as far as colorants go. I think that should do it. Let me make sure. Yeah, it does look like there are some air bubbles, but. Hopefully they won't be too bad. I just wanna make sure that this level is as perfectly straight as possible which is why I poured it really thin because I want the line to be nice and straight all right so I'm gonna stop there and I will be back in a little while for layer number two <laughs> 